Good evening to you. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Stephen Clark. And that's why some people are taking action in case those vandals strike again. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich tells us about the destructive spree in Commerce Township. One, two, three, four, five. Five homes vandalized, as well as spray paint in the middle of a very busy Union Lake Road. Imagine waking up to 40 feet of obscene gestures spray painted on your driveway, like Joe Miskell and his wife did Sunday morning. Shock. We saw the writing on the pavement. Um, we checked to see if uh, vehicles were damaged or the house was damaged. That's when they turned around, dumbfounded at the racial word spray painted in huge silver letters across the garage door because they're not African American. As long as they were quiet, it didn't disturb us. We had our windows open. It was a cool night and uh, we didn't hear a sound from them. And no one heard the troublemakers breaking out the windows of Sue Shotwell's truck. She lives just a few doors down. There's huge boulders all in the truck. They broke all the windows out of our, our truck and it's a newer truck. So and it costs us a lot of money in deductibles to fix it. A third neighbor had part of her radio stolen out of her Jeep that same night. Then a fourth neighbor found a spray painted driveway as well. Shotwell says they're scared the vandalism will escalate. There's a lot of elderly people that live in this street and we don't need people to be scared that people are going to try to get in their homes or hurt them or anything else. In case the vandals up the ante, some residents have installed surveillance cameras. Right in the window up there. Uh, got two of them actually, so we'll see. And others like Miskell have the block banding together to form a neighborhood watch. The Oakland County Sheriff's Department is putting extra patrols along Union Lake Road and Gulf Lane where the vandals hit. Crime Stoppers is also offering a $1,000 reward for any information. From Commerce Township, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News.